Morning everybody, welcome to Little Tahunga Canyon Road. It's a great day up here, very quiet, and uh, this should be neat. Uh, this is Gary, thank you so much for coming down, thank sir. You for having me. And uh, if this seems awkward, it's because we've already done this review and I forgot to speed the outside camera, so we have to have the same conversation again, so forgive us. So, remind me, Gary, sure. what, uh, what has been done with your Mustang? KW V3s, bunch of bushings, um, tires I've changed to Continentals, um, short throw shifter, intake, tune, BBK, 90mm throttle body, catback exhaust. So more or less a full bolt-on deal. Full bolt-on deal. Yeah. And, uh, and when I drove the Mustang originally, the stock one, it was, it was most of the way there, but I kind of thought about some things it could use, and your car happens to have basically all of those things. So uh, we're going to go up the hill because that truck just went down the hill. But see, right away... You mentioned earlier in our first drive that you took out that clutch spring, which I talked about poor clutch feel in the original uh, GT review. A lot of people in the comments mentioned the spring. You did the spring, and lo and behold, it's way better. With your uh, with your bushings, did you use Poly or Delrin? I think they're Poly. Yeah. Uh, just because it's a daily. Okay. Short throw shifter is super short. Who makes that again? Uh, Hurst. Oh, is that just a Hurst? Oh, Barton, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. Bar it's a Barton short throw, but it's the full, uh, the, the full thing. It's so not just the. Uh, it's the full assembly. Exactly. Yeah. So right away, what you get is the body feels more connected to the suspension. So in the stock car, the suspension does a good job of absorbing bumps, but then it feels like the body is sort of floating on top of the suspension. Here, it seems like they're working close together. Although the steering still doesn't transmit a lot of feedback, it's just super direct on this really tight section. Yes. And remind me, what, what did you do for brakes here? Uh, they're stock 15 inch Brembo brakes from factory with the track pack. I did the Brembo high temp fluids and the stainless steel brake lines. It so works. pads are stock, and yeah, they're, they're great, great brakes from factory. Yeah, the hardware is very good, but if you just up up the uh, pads, the pads, the fluid. Yeah. But the I guess it's probably the fluid and the lines that gives me that nice tight brake pedal feel. No, it was actually it was a really, really, really tight from factory. Really? Actually, yeah. I um, don't remember it that way. But did you drive the the track pad? Yeah, but it was a while ago, so right. I'll take your word for it. No, it was really tight from factory. Like when I first pressed the brake, I'm like, oh. Oh God! For a for a sound for a Corsa exhaust, usually their courses are a little louder. This is actually pretty refined. This is the loudest one they have. Really? Yeah, it's the extreme. Um, I think. I mean, inside it's not too loud because of the drone, but when you you know from outside it sounds pretty pretty loud. It's pretty good. This is a great section. Look over. Did you go down here before? I haven't. This no. Is a really good camera. More planted and in agreement with each other. You know, it's the suspension's not abusive. It still has some give to it, but it just feels more connected to the inputs. Clutch feel is certainly better. But this, you know, for a Mustang, this is a pretty tight road, and it's doing really, really well. See right here? Uh, uh, the back end didn't move at all. Right. That's just the best. That's why these things are they're they're great now. I mean, really, with the IRS, it's just just awesome. Yeah, I think just with the sway bars and air links and the uh, tires, but some better tires, I'll see a very very big difference. Do you not love these counties? They're good. I mean, braking. If you if you do a hard brake, it just starts squealing, and it's it's not too good. I mean, the braking isn't that great. In a very hard corner, it doesn't grip as much um, as I want it to. I have these Conti R compounds on my Mustang. R compound. Yeah, yeah R compound. Yeah. But I have to say, even though they did give them to me for free, right. and I appreciate that, I don't love them. Right. They're, they're, as far as R comps go, they're not the stickiest ones I've driven. But this car is so sorted and balanced, I really, really like it. Even though I already drove it for 10 minutes, we're back at it, I'm enjoying it even more this time. I think because I'm more familiar with it right out of the box. But the gearing is really good spacing for this road, you know? Yeah, it's got the 3.73. 3 yeah, that's that's the one to get. Right. 
Although if you do a lot of highway miles, 355 yeah, yeah. is good. But I think you're telling. I think you you're saying that the exhaust isn't too loud because of the induction. Maybe. Maybe. It has a lot of a lot of engine noise. I like. I love the shift timing. Like, I, for some reason, it just has a very natural. With I don't know the way I drive anyway. It seems like the gearing and the way the engine revs up and down lines up with Insane. my shifting style right. really well. stuff run you and you don't have to tell me exactly but uh, uh, you're, you're kind of a ways from stock here aren't you yeah I mean probably I would probably say around six six total for everything a little more than six but I mean the, the exhaust itself was 15 yeah no I mean actually I would have guessed higher actually right no it's 15 I would no I would have get for the whole thing I would have guessed right um, uh, did my microphone fall off I hope I hope that hasn't been uh, ruining us here we go back on. <laughs> I broke my clip yesterday and saw I'm gaffer taping. It's ghetto, but it is what we have, so we'll use it. Sort of like this entire show. <laughs> it's got, this thing has, like, this Coyote engine has such a fat mid-range punch. Yeah. Like, you can, a lot of times, you can stay a gear higher. You don't have to, like, right there, that's just 3,000 RPM. I don't need to be pulling out of those corners at 5. But it's a completely different motor than, for example, like an LS, where the LS has yes. power down low. This really builds up. Yeah, the LS, below three grand, the LS has a little more torque. Right. But, I mean, this engine's happier to rev than the LS, too. Oh, yeah. Too. I, like, I like this much better. Well, these, they, they're just, I, you know, I love an LS engine, but in some ways, let's have a prayer. Will this gentleman let us buy at this turnout? I will flash. While I fix my microphone. Please. Yes. Thank you, sir. Um, the LSs sometimes, to me, feel like they're dragging themselves sometimes. They're not as happy to rev. These modular uh, four-cam Ford motors, they're just, they love to rev. Look at the grip. No understeer at all there. And don't forget, I mean, this is a pretty heavy car. Yeah, especially with both of us in here. No, it's it's for for its uh, size and weight and the tightness of this road, which is tighter in person than it will appear on camera. It's extremely nimble and pre and predictable and you know like forgiving too. Like even with uh, even with the uh, with the aftermarket suspension, it doesn't get upset by bumps. You know sometimes if you have a car. That coilovers and they're dialed in too tight the car can start hopping around and stuff yeah west end did a really good job on the suspension do they align it with you in the car they aligned it with me in the car they yeah. did a coil balancing the car weighed around it was like 41 is it really that yeah, heavy? Oh, with, with you with in me it. inside yeah yeah i'm a pretty big person as well so and i'm not doing it any favors yeah, no. <laughs> So this is like, well, I would say like a G-Wagon a going up here. <laughs> You've never driven a G-Wagon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a very happy engine to rev. It's really fun. This thing is good, man. Woo. I just like how it doesn't get upset by bumps at all. Right. Like that is just, that's something that, you know, if you were familiar with the old Mustangs, you know. As happy. No, well, oh, not as God. happy, but. Um, no, they just would bounce on, right, on yeah, money exactly. the tarmac. And this new chassis is so planted. Like, even on, you know, I've driven the, the, the older Mustang, and even on regular roads, it would just start bouncing around. Yeah. I mean, on, on, uh, on racetracks, the solid axles okay because yeah. they're really smooth. Right. But this is, uh, this is a different level, especially for the. The unpredictable surfaces of Canyon Road. 
Jones. And oh, by the way, the brake pedal this whole time has stayed perfectly tight, no fade. Yeah, the Brembo fluid did a very, very good job. Oh, I've lost my microphone. I have lost my microphone. I'm gonna have to here, watch this. Here, with him. here we go. I'm gonna hold it. What up, what up? <laughs> I'm gonna hold it in I got time. You, okay. third gear, one hand. I'm gonna hold it for you? No, no, I got this. <laughs> this, is, this is an entirely new challenge for me. <laughs> now, I, I was getting bored of the normal one take, so I had to make it fun. So I'm just gonna hold my microphone like a TV anchor and drive one handed. <laughs> this doesn't seem. If you need me to shift, let me know. I'll call seem, you. No, no, no. <laughs> this is why we have the wide torque band of the Coyote V8. We, <laughs> I can leave it in third the whole time and drive with one hand. I feel like I'm in Beverly Hills right now. Here we go, downshift. <laughs> the, people, the people who complain about the audio are really going to complain about the audio now. <laughs> oh man, but this is such a cool car. And uh, it's so well uh, balanced. You know, all the modifications balance each other out. The, the, the chassis matches the suspension, matches the brakes. It's really good. It's Thank really, you. really good. And uh, I really like it. I'm, it's, you know, when I, when I, that's a tough place to cross. When I, uh, when I called for these types of modifications from the stock car, this is sort of what I expect would happen. And it has. And that's great. Good job, Gary. Thank, Thank you Thank you again. very much. <laughs> we did it twice and we managed to not make it retarded even, even with this car. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thank you, Gary. And uh, we'll see you guys later.